Essex Public Library and welcome to Storytime at Home. Let's begin with our welcome song, The More We Get Together, and use the signs we've learned from American Sign Language, or ASL, which is the language that people who live in North America and can't hear use to communicate. Are you ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And let's see, how about bread and butter, marmalade and jam? Are you ready to tap and clap with me? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nicely as we can. Hello. Well, I wonder what in our world story time is going to be about today. Hmm. I wonder who we could ask. What's that? Brown Bear, that's a really good idea. The only problem is that Brown Bear is still asleep. How about you call out, wake up Brown Bear on the count of three with me, and we'll see if we can get him to rise. One, two, three. Wake up Brown Bear. Hey, I see some movement. He's getting out from underneath the covers and now he's combing his fur and brushing his bare teeth and buttoning up his shirt and tying his bow. And here he comes. Brown Bear Buddy, welcome to Storytime at Home. How are you today? He's very well, he tells us. Oh, uh, Brown Bear, we have a question for you. What in our world is story time going to be about today? <gasps> he says he has three clues for us. Okay, what's number one? We need to count to 10. Can you help me count to 10? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, Brown Bear, we've counted to ten, right? Yeah. All right, ready for number two? He says, we have to listen. Do you hear that? What does that sound like to you? Me too. It sounds like birds singing. All right, is it bird singing? Yeah. The second clue is bird singings. Number one is counting. Number two, 
bird singing. And what's number three? He says he brought something to share with us. Oh, I think I see it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Can you see what this is? Does anybody know? That's right, it's a bird's nest. A bird's nest, a bird's song, a bird's nest and counting. Brown Bear, is this weekend the great backyard bird count? It is? And is story time going to be about birds? It is? Well, let's get started. Can you name any birds? A robin, that's a good one. What else? Oh, a cardinal, that's another good type of bird. How about, what's that? An owl, yes, an owl is a type of bird. And what do owls say? Hoot, hoot, that's right, hoot, hoot. Can you say hoot, hoot with me? Hoot, hoot. All right, uh, what about, anybody know uh, about a goldfinch? That's right, they're a yellow bird. What do you think that a yellow bird might say? How about cheap, cheap? Can you say cheap, cheap with me? Cheap, cheap, great. And let's see, how about, what other type of birds do you know? A flamingo, that's right, a flamingo is a type of bird. What color is a flamingo, do I wonder? Pink, wow, that's the only pink bird I know. You know, we had a story time the other week about another type of bird that lives where it's cold and swims in the icy water. Do you remember what type of bird that was? It's black and white and it likes to waddle, 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 waddle. That's right, a penguin. We're gonna do an action rhyme and we're gonna talk about owls and we're gonna talk about a yellow bird and we're gonna talk about a penguin and you're gonna need to help to hoot, hoot, cheep, cheep, and waddle, waddle. Are you ready? It goes like this. Hoot, hoot, went the little brown owl one day. Hoot, hoot, went the little brown owl. Hoot, hoot, went the little brown owl one day. And they all went hoot, hoot, hoot. But we know owls go la di da di da, la di da di da. La di da di da, we know owls go. La di da di da, they don't go. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Cheep, cheep, went the little yellow bird one day. Cheep, cheep, went the little yellow bird. Cheep, cheep, went the little yellow bird one day. And they all went cheep, cheep, cheep. But we know birds go flappy, flappy, flap, flappy, flappy, flap, flappy, flappy, flap. We know birds go flappy, flappy, flap. They don't go cheap, cheap, cheap. Hmm. Ready for the penguin? Waddle, waddle, went the little black penguin one day. Waddle, waddle, went the little black penguin. Waddle, waddle, went the little black penguin one day. And they all went waddle, waddle, waddle. But we know penguins go splish, splash, splash, splish, splash, splash. Splish, splash, splash, we know penguins go. Splish, splash, splash, they don't go waddle, waddle, waddle. That was a funny song. I'm thinking about another type of bird that likes to swim in the water as much as it likes to fly in the land. And they make a funny sound. It goes like this. Quack, quack, quack. 
Do you know what type of bird that is? That's right, a duck. That reminds me of another finger play called put your hands up high and your hands down low. I'm gonna teach it to you and then we can do it together. All right, you'll need to use your hands and then you're gonna need to find your elbows. Can you show me where your elbows are? That's right, your elbows are here. All right, put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle to and fro. Put your elbows out front, put your elbows out back, put your elbows at the side and quack, quack, quack. Let's do it together. Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle to and fro. Put your elbows out front, put your elbows out back, put your elbows at the side and quack, quack, quack. Well, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling happy? That's good to hear. Shall we do if you're happy and you know it? So you wanna stand up and we're gonna clap our hands and we're going to stomp our feet and we're going to shout hooray, hooray. You ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Ready to stomp? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're ready for a story, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Hooray! If you're ready for a story, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Hooray! If you're ready for a story, then I'm ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Hooray! This weekend, all around the world, people will count the birds that are in their backyards or at their feeders. And in order to help people do that where we live, we've made these nifty take and makes where you can make your own pine cone bird feeder to hang in your yard to help you find birds and count them if you want. The other thing you get with your take and make, if you stop by the library, they just are there for you to take is you get a list of chart of all the nifty types of birds that might come to your feeder where we live around Essex County. And one of those birds is this bird right here. I don't know if you can see him, but it's called a Carolina Wren. And a Carolina Wren is famous for making nests all types of strange places. Like they'll make them in your potted plants. And at my house, they've even made them in my lawnmower. Sometimes they even make them in mailboxes. Today, our story is called The Nest That Wren Built. And it's written by Randy Sunshine, and all of the art and pictures are done by Ann Hunter. It's published by Candlewick Press. Hmm. So this story, we're going to find out how a wren builds a nest. Have a, have you ever seen a nest up in a tree or in a bush around your house? <gasps> wow. Have you ever seen eggs in a nest? Wow! Well, spring is coming, 
and soon birds will be busy feathering their nest. Let's see what happens in this story. There are those words again. The nest that Wren built. Where is this Wren looking at building a nest? In a tree, that's right. These are the twigs dried in the sun that Papa collected one by one to cradle the nest that Wren built. This is the bark, snippets of twine, spidery rootlets, and needles of pine that shape the nest that Wren built. Wow, can you see all the different materials? Bark and pine needles and twigs. <gasps> These are the leaves of ruby and gold falling from trees sturdy and old that weave throughout the nest that Wren built. Oh, what color is this leaf that Wren is taking to its nest? Yellow. This is the sack, silky and white, brimming with spiders who feast on the mites that threaten the nest that Wren built. This is the snakeskin warding off harm, a scaly and thin reptilian charm draped on the nest that Wren built. My goodness, a snakeskin to wow, that's amazing. This is the moss, softer than suede, stolen from stones, cool in the shade, to line the nest that Wren built. Can you see the moss over here? Who else is here? A well, ladybug. And who's under this leaf here? Oh, a snail. These are the feathers, petals, and thread placed on the moss to soften the bed that waits in the nest that Wren built. This is the tuft of rabbity fur plucked from a sharp, persnickety burr to warm the nest that Wren built. Can you see where the fur is in this picture? Oh, I see it. I think I see it. It looks like the flower, but it's right over here. It got stuck on this burr. This is the papa perching nearby, chirping a mirthful song to the sky and guarding the nest that Wren built. Oh, Wrens can be very song-ridden. They sing out, tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle. Can you sing that song with me? Tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle. Tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle. These are the eggs laid on the bed of velvety moss, feathers and thread, safe in the nest that Wren built. These are the hatchlings scratching within, stretching and pecking all scrawny and thin that hatch in the nest that Wren built. Oh, I see a little beak. Peck, peck, peck. This is Papa hunting for food, a spider or beetle to nourish the brood that waits in the nest that Wren built. Ooh, can you help him find a spider or a beetle to take back to feed to his family? Yeah, there's a beetle. And here, this is another, maybe it's an ant. Hmm. These are the nestlings, drowsy and fed, snuggly and plump on their feathery bed, warm in the nest that Wren built. Oh, 
Somebody's coming to visit. Hmm, what is that? These are the fledglings, 14 days old. They inch to the edge while feathers unfold. Oh, let's count them. How many are there in the, from this nest? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, then fly from the nest that Wren built. Woo! There they go. What's happening now? Who's moving into the nest? Looks like a mouse has found a new home. I hope you enjoyed that book. Do you remember what the baby birds were called when they first hatched out of their eggs and stayed in the nest? Nestlings, that's right. And later, when they learned to fly, they called them fledglings. That reminds me of an action rhyme called Way Up in the Sky. I'd like to teach it to you, and then we can do it together. Way up in the sky, the little birds fly, while down in the nest, the little birds rest. Shh. They're sleeping with a wing on the left and a wing on their right. The little birds sleep all through the night. Shh, they're sleeping. Up comes the sun and the dew drops away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds slay, say. Fly away, birds. Shall we do it together? Way up in the sky, the little birds fly. While down in the nest, the little birds rest. Shh, they're sleeping with a wing on their left and a wing on their right. The little birds sleep all through the night. Shh, they're sleeping. Up comes the sun and the dew drops away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds say. Fly away, birds. Would you like to be a bird? Oh, it, you would? What would be the best part of being a bird? Oh, being in the nest, that would be very nice, all warm and snug. Would you like to fly? Oh, me too. That would be amazing to see the world from way up high. That reminds me of another rhyme. Hatch, hatch, hatch. Hatch, hatch, hatch from my egg. Run, run, run on my legs. Flap my wings and fly, fly, fly. See the world from way up high. Shall we do it together? Hatch, hatch, hatch from my egg. Run, run, run on my legs. Flap my wings and fly, fly, fly. See the world from way up high. Hello down there. Well, friends, I sure had a lot of fun today. I hope you did too. It's time for our goodbye song, Wave High, Wave Low. 
wave high, wave low. Now it's time we've got to go. Wave your elbows, wave your toes, wave your tongue, blah, 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 blah. and wave your nose. Wave your ears and wave your eyes. Wave both hands and say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. See you next time. <laughs>